Zoe is special because it's an empowerment program and orphans are taught really from day one um, how to provide for themselves and for their siblings. About a year ago, our church started to support an orphan group um, in their three-year program. So when the opportunity came up for us to go and visit them, we wanted to take it. I was really intrigued by this empowerment model um, and how um, these orphans are going from uh, being homeless to struggling for food and so many ways to being sustainable, um, certainly at the end of the experience, but for the rest of their lives. It was just truly amazing to travel so far, but yet uh, see God's impact um, on so many. We got to see uh, some orphans who had sewing machines in a shop in the city. But uh, one place that I thought was really cool was when we got to go to see our group's cornfield and their harvest. We got to help them harvest the corn. We picked the corn, cut down the stalks to use for compost, and then later we met them again in a different field and they had cooked up the corn for us. Personally, it was really a beautiful thing to be out there with these orphans uh, on their particular plot for their family, harvesting this corn, knowing all the different pieces that went into it. We had that harvest, this Thanksgiving, this meal in which they cooked and boiled corn, and they gave it to us. Uh, it was a challenge to eat. It didn't taste like our regular corn, but by golly, I was determined to eat as much of it as I possibly could um, because it meant so much to them. We met Josiane. She is a third year Zoe um, orphan, and she has six siblings. Um, both of her parents have passed away. She became aware of Zoe. Through their group earning project, she was able to um, earn some money to then save, get some of her siblings back, actually all of her siblings, back in school. She herself was able to grow some vegetables um, and start her little business of, of selling vegetables. It was just a great picture of transformation, um, and she was so grateful. So if you think about it, the actual amount of money that was invested in Josiane over the course of three years was between $250 and $300. That would have been in the form of um, seeds that she was given, a small grant that she um, used to take some small business classes. Um, so that's a small amount, um, but it's given her a lifetime of, of skills and it's allowed her siblings to go back and get the education that's gonna help them um, for their futures. I think it, it sort of, it illustrates the gospel a little bit. Uh, just sort of the transformation is one of the big things that hit me. And coming back, I kind of feel like inspired to sort of take what these orphans are doing and how they're being helped and sort of take that same love into the rest of the world. My hope is that folks in our church and beyond will continue to support Zoe, that they'll give enthusiastically, knowing that this is not just solving a temporary problem, but that it's really transforming the lives of the orphans um, who are enrolled in the program. Zoe maximizes every penny um, in terms of their assistance and support for these orphans, and it truly, as we certainly saw, is making a difference each and every day.